Hello everybody, welcome back. Episode 49, I think, of Mob's World. And, uh, I kind of maybe overdid it a little bit with the garden here. Okay, so this was the original wall edge to the garden. You can see the railing up on the roof. And I extended it out three plots wide. reason I did that is so... It would match with the window here if it wasn't this wide it wouldn't have matched and I just I really wanted it to match so yeah that's what I did was it the smartest oh, I don't know but it's what I went with and now I just need to finish things up a little bit uh, put wood in and I think I'm going to leave some pillars here. Of course, they are completely not needed, but they kind of provide a decorative thing. Oh, that's a problem. I can't have water there. I don't have anything to cover it. That's fine. I'll have to make some more little changes. No big deal. So the garden is much bigger now. And it's not really finished. I still have to plant some more stuff. The uh, beans and grapes, as we discovered, have to go onto a trellis and a... Uh, I forget what they called the other thing. Bean poles? I don't know. But, uh, big moment of truth. Let's see what happens. Alright, we get our trellis back. And we get grapes. And we get our bean pole. And I'm going to assume we got beans. Yes, we did. So... You do get the trellis and the bean poles back, which is super. Um, I think actually I'm going to take this pillar out and we'll just leave that one in the middle. That's kind of the middle, I think, right? We got one, two, three, four. Now I'll leave both of these in actually, and then pull out these. So that'll pretty much give us a more or less centered set of pillars holding that up. Yeah, that works. Um, I did get rid of most of the lights up in the roof, only because they are unnecessary with super glow glass panels down here. I will get rid of the rest of them. Uh, protection blocks have to be moved as well, but I don't have any glass right now. And uh, obviously these need to be turned into wood. This is uh, pop, poplar? Aspen? I honestly don't remember which. I'm hoping I have some sitting in my chest here, but we'll find out. It's poplar, and I have a bunch. Good. Uh, somehow I lost my cucumbers. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Right there they are. Alright, let's chuck those in there. I've got too much stuff on me, as always, and I don't have space to put any of it. Again, not unusual. Okay, did I grab everything I need? Didn't grab the cucumber, that would be pretty silly. And actually, I should keep the grapes and the green beans so I can plant those again. Uh, I don't think I'll need more dirt, so I can chuck that in there. Wheat I can throw in the other cage. Super glow glass panels I don't need. I don't need that. I don't need the bone. I'll keep the sticks because I need those. And fences. I'm going to put fencing up on the whole top of the garden. So I do need those. Let's run back over here and see about planting this cucumber. Um, and Let's just try right there. Okay, so the cucumber does get planted. Just as a note, which is phenomenal then I don't need to do any tricky stuff to figure out what I'm doing with that uh, start with 12 I don't know if that's gonna be enough but it's what we'll start with now this one the water is actually right in the corner there so I can put wood there and the water will still exist there these I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it exactly I mean, I could leave water just sitting there, or probably put the water source underneath this, 
It's kind of what I'm thinking would make more sense. Like, just because it makes sense to do it. And yeah, more uh, sand, which I can use to make glass, which is good. Those flowers are probably going to go bye-bye, I think. There's really no reason to have them. They don't really provide anything. The only reason I ever even had them, honestly, was just to put some color in here. And uh, pretty much fill up a spot I didn't know what to plant in. So those are coming out. Uh, they can be used to make dye, but of course I don't have inventory space for this stuff. I got too much junk on me. Always too much junk. But let's go ahead and put the glass out. And the glass here. Oops. It's fine, I'll break that. Okay, and now this is what I was doing for most of it. Because the glass you can't place on top of water. So you kind of have to do that. Which, eh, it's kind of kind of sketchy, but it works. It's not really sketchy, it's kind of hacky, I guess would be more of the correct word to use. And then we just put a water source there, put dirt there, remove that dirt so the water can flow back in. And just like that, it's done. Now the... Um, These inside ones, what I did is I dug the dirt from the four pieces here and then put water in those two, which put water to the center here as a source. Put a water here that made that a source. Put a water here and that made these two a source and then the center became a source as well. And then I put dirt back in these. So every intersection is a water source. And then along this outside wall, that edge wall and this edge wall, there's a water source underneath the wall. And on these, the water source will all be up against the dirt. So, and that'll let the water flow through and keep everything uh, hydrated and nice and wet so we can grow stuff. Um, unfortunately, water flow makes this hard to do, but I'll make it work. You know, I'm just going to plug that hole. There's a cave system down there that we explored, but whatever. Uh, too much stone. Well, that is not good. I'm going to have to just drop that. And then do this. Yeah. Oh, no, that dried up. Isn't there water on the outside of this? Well, fortunately, there wasn't. And unfortunately, I don't have inventory space for anything. I may have some space in one of my backpacks that I can chuck some stuff into. Or I honestly could just plant, like, the green beans or the grapes. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Right? Like... Come on here, let's let's think a little. Okay, water source there, dirt there, my wheat seeds, and plant those. Yes. Okay, now um let's go plant this stuff. Let's go in the back corner here. And we'll do the trellis for the grapes. And grapes and grapes. And let's go over here and do the beans. And uh, obviously I'll have to make quite a few more of the trellis and bean poles. But that at least frees up two inventory slots right now. And then I just need to... Um, get this so I guess 
I almost dislike using the Nyan Cat Shovel. Just because it's so fast. And it makes it easy to dig way too much. And I don't have any water source here to grab. While I was building this, I actually made a infinite water generator inside there. Because I was sick and tired of having to run outside to get water. But uh, yeah, I guess it's really not so bad. I mean, there's water right there. Whoa, I didn't break all those open, did I? I must have. Okay, well. Let's figure out where I just was. Here we are. And... See, I can't put a water source underneath because... The water that flowed into there is blocking it. So I have to put dirt in there. Then I can put a water source in. And then I can go in and put dirt there, here, and here. And now we have a water source. Yay! And we'll do the same thing here. And now if you're fast enough, sometimes you can get past it. But as you saw, obviously I was not. Water source. There we go. Just have to do that twice more. And everything will be good. And then I can close up those window holes again. Because obviously I want to keep keep strange critters out. And I guess people too for that matter. You know. This isn't supposed to be part of the public zoo. This is uh Kind of like a zookeeper's only area where food is raised to feed to animals and to sell to visitors. You know, the concession stand needs to have food coming from someplace that they can sell. And this garden is where most of it comes from. It's all organic, non-GMO. Uh, I don't know if it's certified by anybody. Probably not. But... No pesticides, no artificial growth hormones, none of that factory stuff. It's all 100% organic. And that uh, that's why you should buy it. Okay, so everything's done there. Uh, it's about time to run up on the roof, I think. Uh, but I need glass. Do I have any glass on me? Just glass panes. Now, I had a furnace at one point on me. Well, actually, I put that in the kitchen, and I think I threw a bunch of sand in here. Oh, I threw raw meat in it. Okay, I need... I need fuel. And one of these backpacks has leaves. I think. Nope. I do have ten dry shrubs, though. I bet those will burn. Okay, I'm going to run over to my wood chests. I have a stack of leaves, I know. And you can turn leaves to oil. And that works quite well for burning and cooking things. Right. I have to get more glass blocks to finish the roof. Take the super glow glass out, which also makes the glass look a little more... Uh, a little more solid, I guess. Because you don't have stuff breaking it up. And uh, I'll have to figure out the correct placement of all of the protection blocks. But that shouldn't be too bad. I know I was using a specific grid method. But that's going to completely change. Because I have a much different shape to cover now. And I was actually using more than I needed. There was a lot of overlap. And there's really no need for that kind of overlap. So I will try to correct that and figure out the right spacing and everything. Alright, so that's all the glass I need. I think. I have protection blocks on me. Yep. 
I got my pickaxe. Let's go up on the roof and make this happen. And... Um... I guess take this fence out. Or don't take the fence out. That takes way too long. Just some of it so I can get around. Alright, and I got a bunch of fence here already. So we can get this up. I have a lot of excavating to do around the perimeter here. As you'll notice, I don't have all the blocks in place that I need quite yet. So there's a lot of work to be done. This whole fence needs to come out too. Yeah, lots of work. Okay, well, for starters, protection block in the corner. I should probably have glass on hand to fill in that. All right, and yipes. Um, I guess I'll put that up in the hot bar too, because I'm sure I'll knock up more than just that one. But why does it disappear? I'm trying to look at it and it disappears on me. Okay, so that covered to about that edge of that. Okay, so let's see. Oh, chat needs to be on. Protection is located. Protection is located. Okay, so from front to back, it just covers it. Or, or does it? No, it might not. Let's try this again. You can build here. You can build here. Okay, so... These two spaces are open. So I'm going to put a torch there. So those spots, those two, are open. Hmm. Let's get rid of that jump this. This doesn't need to be here. And this doesn't need to be there. I should have grabbed more glass because I don't have enough. Nope. Sure don't. Okay, well that was not the smartest move. But whatever. It goes to this fence pole. One, two, three, four, five. So I can have 10 spaces between protection blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In line with the fence. But it might make more sense to do on every other pillar going up. Because that gives me, uh, you know, that nice uh, symmetry. And you all know how much I love my symmetry. Okay, so that gets pretty close to that one, actually. So that definitely covers. And that goes to the torch. And that goes to search. Okay, perfect. So, that can come out as well. And I need one. Wait, where is this? Right above the light. Right here. Protection block. And then above this light. Right here. I think. All right, so that's all of that, uh, which it really isn't, because some of the center is not protected right now, which is, yeah! So you want to come pick a fight, huh? Okay. Have fun dying.
Where do I put the last protection block? It should probably go in line with those. No matter what, it's going to be off. I guess I'll just do that. It, it can't be perfect because of the shape of this. Didn't I have a hole in the roof here somewhere? I must have patched it already. Well, good. Because then I can patch this one as well. Alright, so there's our first one. Which protects everything just fine. Running along here. Boy, it's hard to tell what's in line when you're on glass. But I think that's where I want to be. Is that? Yeah, it's in line. And then here, on this node, I think. And last but not least, this one. If I did that right, the protection should all be staggered. Yes, they are. All right, so now garden is all protected, lit from the bottom. So I don't have any lights up in the top, so that is all nice and transparent. All I have to do is take out all these fences, which is literally take forever. No matter what tool you use, you can't win with fences. Pro tip, if you want to build a wall that'll take people forever to dig through, just put a jillion fences out. There's no tool that digs through a fence quickly. At least none that I found. I don't know what kind of groups that a fence belongs in, but I feel like it's pretty messed up. Because I would have been, a tree trunk would be cut down by now. So I don't know why that takes so long. All right, well, the rest of this is coming down off camera because that just can be boring. So that's going to wrap steps it up a little longer, but the garden is kind of more or less finished now. Just need to get stuff planted in all the plots. I'll probably do multiple plots for some things like wheat because a lot of animals get tamed with wheat. So multiple plots for that makes sense. A lot of the other new foods like the blackberries, strawberries, tomatoes, onions, uh, corn. I don't think any mobs eat those. So they're kind of just to sell in a vending machine and maybe use in some cooking. But I don't even know if they really have a lot of cooking that can be used in. But either way, I proclaim the garden finished. Well, that wraps up this episode, so thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next week, same time, same channel, where we will have some more fun, do some more stuff, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, but it'll be exciting, so be sure to not miss it.